So I'm out here this afternoon to show you something that a lot of folks have been asking about. And after I lost mine this year, it kind of kicked me into overdrive into creating another one. And that is a, what we're gonna call the Pinhoti Turkey Strap. It is, um, what I'm hoping is a little bit different than what's already available out there. Um, if it's worth doing, it's worth overdoing, right? And that's kind of uh, what we did here. Uh, I'm just gonna work from end to end of this thing and tell you exactly why we did what we did. And um, yeah, just kind of showcase this puppy because I think you're gonna like it. I know I sure do. Starting at the top, we got D-rings at the end of each, uh, each end of this thing is it's got a, a solid brass D-ring. These are not like plated D-rings. You're not gonna find these bad boys at Home Depot. Essentially what that means, it's solid, it's extremely strong. And also as you wear it, um, all depending on how you store it, how you carry your turkeys or just, you know, basically everybody's is going to wear a little differently. Each one of these straps um, is going to be unique to the user and the D-rings are just one, another one of those things that'll be, uh, have its, you know, own characteristics that you'll uh, be able to uh, kind of call your own. Um, going down from the D-rings, we have the actual strap itself. It's very heavyweight, uh, vegetable tanned leather. Uh, vegetable tanned leather, same thing they're making saddles out of, guys. I mean, this stuff is extremely durable. Um, John Wayne basically had his saddle made out of this. Um, and I think this may have come from John Wayne's saddle. Uh, I can't promise all of you your strap's gonna come with John Wayne vegetable tanned leather, but, uh, cause we did have to settle for Matt Dillon's um, leather on some of it but either way it's vegetable tan leather it's extremely strong and uh you don't have to worry about it stretching like a rubber band i was afraid some of you boys out there in the midwest killing them 28 pounders was going to find this stuff weak so i uh, made sure i beefed it up so you don't have to worry about that thing um stretching at all moving on down we got the pad itself you'll notice the pad is not attached you can slide this pad up and down the strap that way if you uh want to you know attach the turkey at each end and just throw it over your shoulder um, you can do that. You can move the strap up if you like to do, kind of like what I do a lot of times where I want my hands available to fight off Sasquatch, Yeti, uh, mountain lions, um, wolves, whatever you need to fight off. You need both of your hands on the way out. You can move the strap up to, I mean, the pad up to here, add a little padding. So you got the gobbler around you like this. Um, the top of the pad and the bottom of the pad are different thicknesses. We did that because I wanted the bottom to be a little bit thicker so you didn't feel the strap through the pad. The top is thinner. We did that because this is one of the changes I made versus the old strap I used, this strap will fold easily. Um, you can wrap the, uh, the strap itself inside the pad like so and put it in your vest, it takes up less space. Um, this is chrome tanned leather we're using here, which means it's a, got a little bit of a waxy uh, feeling to it. It kind of resists uh, moisture and wetness a little bit better. And it's also soft, a little bit more malleable um, so that it does allow you to fold it. When we did that, we also had to do what's called heat emboss. When uh, you punch these, uh, the track logo and the Pinhoti logo to top and bottom of the pad, it's heat embossed imprinting there so that it uh, gives it a nice clean look and a uh, really sharp, uh, really clean finish, which is uh, uh, what we require here. Um, as far as the stitching goes, we're using one millimeter nylon braided thread. Uh, for you guys that fish, know what braided versus mono means. Basically, this is just a lot of small threads twisted together. It's extremely, extremely strong. It's saddle stitched, which essentially just means it is very, very strong. Um, stitched down and then back stitched uh, to, for superior uh, strength. As far as the D-rings, attaching them, same thing. We're using that one millimeter nylon uh, thread there. We chose to stitch these. You'll see some other straps that have uh, rivets. The problem I saw with that is the pressure point. You have one pressure point, not to mention a much larger hole, which kind of uh, compromises the integrity of the leather. Um, over time, years and years of use, that leather around that rivet's gonna eventually stretch and, and cause you issues. It'll be a weak spot, essentially. So by thread using thread and sewing these um, D-rings on the ends, you've got a lot of small pressure points rather than just one large pressure point to give you issues in the long run. So that's why everything uh, on this is hand-stitched. It's using the heavy thread because we want it to last a lifetime. I want to, essentially, I want this thing, I want you to have to leave this thing in your wheel to somebody because uh, make sure it's somebody that deserves it because I hope it becomes something that's super important to everybody. But um, here is uh, the strap that'll be mine this next year. And you'll notice it's a little bit more flimsy. That's because these straps are leather, guys. They are just like a pair of boots that you would get. So it's not something that you're just going to leave in the back of the truck. You do have to care for these things a little bit. Like Neat's foot oil, any kind of leather conditioner. Mine's been conditioned, so it causes it to be able to fold a lot easier. Also, you'll notice as you fold it, you'll see the little 
stress marks in the leather that all gives it character. Um, you'll notice in this fresh one, they're a little bit more noticeable. You put that neat's foot oil, you condition that leather, and it really gives everybody, it's gonna give everybody's strap a little bit different look, all, con, you know, all depending on how you use it, where you store it, and um, how you like to carry your turkeys out, that kind of thing. So it's really cool. Um, I really uh, like leather for that uh, reason. Uh, we all give it our own little characteristics. And um, anyways, that's, uh, that's the thing there. Um, that's gonna be the Pinhoti leather turkey tote or turkey strap. Uh, whatever we decide to call it but um anyways that's it